All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to draw holes, or not draw holes, we're going to make holes in the part. So the first thing we do is we click normal to view, and that should show us like an uh, image, same as figure 5.61 on page 163 of the text. Uh, we are going to select the circle tool. Okay. And to draw a circle from the center of the origin. Well, I thought we were. Hang on just a minute. Okay, we're going to draw a circle from the center of the origin here, but first thing we want to do is we want to click for. Well, hang on a minute. Here I'll do this. Okay, circle tab. There. Well, let's try it again. There we go. Okay. And it's not letting me do anything. Hang on, I'll pause it. Okay, all I did is I highlighted the sketch one. I went to circle. And I just picked a spot and did a little circle, and for some reason or other, had to do it. It's going to infer where it wants the uh, circle to be drawn, so you kind of have to give it a reference point. And then we'll start from right here, and we'll click there, click escape, then we'll click the Smart Dimension tool. We'll click on that. And the book says to do it at 4.5 inches. And that's what we've done. And the next thing we'll use the center line tool and we'll draw two center lines, etc. etc. Okay. okay, what we do now is sorry about that. What we do now is we select the center line tool. There's a line, center line, and what we want to do, uh, according to the uh, text, we start here at the center, and we draw one right there horizontally. Uh oh, let's I jiggled that a little bit. Let's do that again. Horizontal, right there. Let's try it again. Line, center line, horizontal. There, there. Let's hit escape. And we're going to do the same thing again. Center line, except we're going to do this one at an angle. Let's just do it this way and let's set this at 30 degrees. Okay, so let's start here. Okay. We'll hit escape. And then it says use the smart dimensioning tool. We've already set it up so that it's uh, we know it's 30 degrees. We'll do it this way. Uh oh, no. Nope. Well, isn't that? I'll figure that out. So if we can do an angle, I think if we go up here like this, horizontal, vertical. Okay, all we <coughs> have to do there is you click click that. Okay. And there we go. Then when you click that, it does the 30 degrees. Okay. Now if that happened not to have been 30 degrees, you type in 30 degrees there and it would force it to move. Okay? So <coughs> now 
Now then we're told to do the circle and start it at the intersection of the construction lines and this circle. I'm not quite sure we can just try it right there. Okay. And then we're going to use the smart dimension. Uh oh, we don't want it on that. Try this again. Circle. Circle. This might be right there. It should be. Yeah, but I just had to guess there. That's not the right way to do that. Hang on. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit more, and you see that that. Uh, little symbol there, that coincident symbol, that means they're right on top of one another, so we'll click on that, and then we'll make our circle, we'll use the Smart Dimension tool, we'll click on that, and we'll set that up to be 3 eighths of an inch diameter, and that's .375 decimal, .375, and we'll click on that, so we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out. Uh, it says to select extrude cut. Okay, now then it says to do through all. <clears throat> but we have to tell it what to do. Okay, that right there. Then we click check mark and we got a hole all the way through it. Now then we're going to click the circular pattern tool and it says six. Click the check mark. Oh, let me regroup here. Okay, all I did is I just selected uh, this surface right here. Now then 360 degrees, six. Cut extrude two is one is one is to do. Click check mark and still not right. Okay. Now we're going to try it again. We click here. We click circular pattern. 360 degrees. Extrude cut four. And we should just click that and we still get our error. 